Okay, I'm going to show a few um, circuits of how to take power out of the run cap of the rotoverter motor. So a rotoverter motor is a three-phase AC induction motor that runs on single phase and you have a run cap between L2 and L3 and L1 and L2 are the AC input. And uh, there's a start cap in parallel with the run cap to get it going. And then you disconnect it when it gets up to its sine wave speed. And uh, so here's this, a guy named Tom McKay. He's in Canada. He did this way back in 2010. Open source, public domain. Credit and inspiration to EV Gray Yahoo Group. But they aren't Yahoo anymore, they're groups.io. And uh, this is called Hector's RV Looping, modified for 24 volt DC dual RV drive. So Tom built his own inverter. Really nice. Mm, uh, really nice, efficient inverter. And that's what this is here. He's running on 24 volt DC. The inverter puts out 240 volts. And it looks like to get it started, you, you start it with the grid of 240 volts. And uh, once it's up to sine wave speed, then you connect the inverter. So now it's going and it has two rotoverter motors. Here's one here, here's one here, and they're connected in Y, star you could call it. And they both run from the same power source. So this is not a, uh, one is a prime mover, a motor, and one is an alternator. It's not that. It's two dual RV drives, he calls it. And what he does is he has two audio transformers in series, these toroid type, because that happened to be the right impedance and induction and everything to knock it down to, oh, I don't know, 28 volts or so, 25 because you want to have what gets knocked down and then there's a full wave bridge rectifier here and then it's DC so this gets slammed back into the battery 24 volt DC I guess two batteries in series or one 24 volt battery so that keeps it charged while it's running so it's looping So, actually I'm a little confused here. I see a full wave bridge here, another one here. So these are the kick down transformers here. And, uh, and this circuit up here is the same as this circuit down here. So, if you're interested in doing this, you can study this for a while. Um, and charge the batteries that's running it as it's running. Okay, I'm going to show you a sim more simple circuit. This is Warren Keeler, she's also from Canada. And hold on a sec with that.
Okay. Here's Warren Circuit. Warren Keeler, a really good artist. He used to work in the film industry building uh, film props, all sorts of stuff he did. He built a boat, sailed down to the Bahamas, great big schooner, very talented individual. So he did a rotoverter that he used a, uh, I believe, three horsepower size. W.E.G. brand, made in China. And uh, he ran it on a 125-watt inverter he had that was really a nice little efficient one. Just running on square waves. It's not pure sine wave. Rotoverters don't need pure sine wave to run good. And he powered it with a 12.75-volt DC battery that was putting out 1.5 amps. So this is the input in DC, 12.75 times 1.5 amps into the inverter. The inverter powers this. Notice he has two wires, so one's L1, L's two. He has two wires coming out because L2 is common, There's they connect because the cap, the run cap, goes between L2 and L3. It's a three-phase AC motor, so you have three lines to play with. And the run cap goes between L2 and L3. And also the start cap will go here too to get it going. You have a larger UF and you can get it from stop. Start it up with a start cap and then disconnect the start cap when it gets going to speed. Okay, he has a switch here now on this transformer that's in series. Notice it's in series to the L3 line. And this is the L2 line. So he has a cap box here so he can quickly change capacitance. It's really nice to have for testing. And uh, But to get it started from stop, you have to have this disconnected. So that's why he has a switch here. So here is the transformer in series to L3. And that's going to power this load of a DC motor. And a guy in Dimitri did a really good rotoverter, and he used two transformers, not just one. And he and those uh, Warren also put a cap here, so you you're going to tune between the. the two caps with a series cap here too and you put a little switch there uh, I guess when you want to kick in the load and then you rectify it with a full wave bridge rectifier four diodes and so what he was getting out here is 16 volts DC simultaneously 2.45 watts I mean amps into a DC motor So, there it is, and uh, what, when I get back to America, I'm in Warsaw, Poland right now, and I'm going to be leaving to about a week back to America. I have a rotoverter that's uh, not so big. It's only a third horsepower, but it only draws 30 milliamps. And I want to put a bit transformer in place of this transformer. Have it step down to about 15 volts and charge this battery as it's going so it's looped. That's my plan when I get back. 
and um, what else this is a four pole AC induction motor it's running at 60 Hertz at 1800 RPM Warren said he had some other inverters but this particular little inverter he had he got it at Canadian Tire I can't remember the brand but they don't make them anymore the brand is still there but this particular inverter like didn't have all these features like cutouts you know if you go over voltage and stuff and he uh, said this was a really efficient inverter it was better than all the other ones he tried and he eventually blew out the transistors in it but he still has them all saved up so be interesting to know exactly what kind of inverter this is and uh, you notice on the circuit before this of Tom McKay he made his own inverter um, so so it's drawing on twice as much twice as less putting out twice the power that's putting in and it has DC output and DC input so you can't really argue too much with this and he doesn't have a video of it this was he did this a while back and he's not too video friendly but I had um, Kind of guided Warren how to do this. I wrote him a lot of emails and stuff and told him do it, do it, do it like this. So he got this going pretty good, his rotoverter, and then he did this himself because of what Dimitri in Russia had done. He had used two transformers like this too. So he did what Dimitri said. Usually you just have one transformer. So, there's that rotoverter circuit. I guess that's about it. Okay, thanks for watching.